820 is the time. It's been a mess of a morning so far with rainfall, some storm action, some thunder sleet, as well as icy conditions over southeast Louisiana and coastal Mississippi. We're seeing some breaks for some spots, but of course, some areas have already seen uh, some sleep being laid down for some areas already. Let's take a look at the North Shore. Uh, those blue specks you see, that's indications of some small hail potential, some sheer gusty wind potential as well, and some lightning strikes. So this is where some of that thunder sleet is occurring around Franklinton areas just to the north. That continues for spots like Thomas and Hackley, even into Clifton, down towards Richardson right now. Looking a little bit more to the south, we have more of that freezing sleet potential happening around Lutcher, a little bit of that mix lifting to the north and east, and this will continue as well. So roads could become hazardous, a little slick at times. And then as we get towards the coastline, we're watching more of that moisture come in and over Terrebonne Parish, transitioning from rain to more of a sleet setup as well. It's shower activity over parts of the metro and storms. Most of the storms now have shifted to the east, but still some light water rainfall on the roads right now. Temperatures above freezing. We're watching the storms that exited slide down now over Hancock County into Harrison County as well along I-59 and then stronger storms right around the mouth of the river and then heading up towards areas around Lower Plaquemines near LA 23 with storm action. These are moving at 50 knots just offshore. So really strong thunderstorm activity. We still have the winter weather warning and winter uh, advisory until six o'clock today. And our main concern with the advisory is the ice accumulation that's possible. We've already seen indications of that being verified for areas mainly on the North Shore for the time being, but this potential will continue throughout the day. I wouldn't be surprised to see a bit of a mix around parts of our river parishes, even into the metro. Can't discount a chance for just a light glaze to set up for some spots, even down towards the coastline. So take it easy today. Here's the big storm system, that low tracking towards the coastline, and we're getting that wraparound moisture being pulled, and also that cold Arctic flow continues to dive south. It's taken over 27 degrees on the wind chill at the airport. That continues to drop down. Temperatures as well down to 37 now, and that wind 17 miles per hour. Temperatures are below freezing in Hammond, and that's where we've seen a lot more of the slick spots developing along I-55, the I-12 corridor. On the south shore and even north, we're above freezing, but in the upper levels of the atmosphere, we're seeing uh, more of that freezing setup, so we get partial melting on the way down, which is why we're seeing some of that sleet materializing. Wind chill values 20s and 30s, teens now in Hammond. These numbers are going down. They're not going to improve throughout the day, and this is the setup we are trying to get you ready for, the cold air, the dangerous cold that's coming our way wind gust 20s and 30s right now. So here's hour by hour through 10 o'clock. We're still dealing with rainfall and a sleep mix potential through the area and temperatures will continue to fall below the freezing mark through this time. So any spots that have picked up rain or sleet will freeze. That's when roads will turn dangerous. This is why we're telling you to stay off the roadways for the remainder of the day and even still towards four o'clock. We're dropping near below the freezing mark and so anything that the rainfall has left around will freeze this evening and tonight, and that will result in a hard freeze for tomorrow morning as well. Wind chill advisory 6 p.m. until noon tomorrow. That's for wind chills of single digits north of the lake and also right around 10 degrees on the south shore. This is bone chilling cold. Hypothermia frostbite can set in in a short amount of time. So if you're waiting for the streetcar today, you're taking public transportation. Uh, don't wait outside for long. I hope you can find a safe place to wait uh, for those streetcar rides because it's going to be very cold. Wind chill values will be in the teens and 20s by 430. And again, it doesn't take a long period of time for the dangerous conditions to set. And here's tomorrow morning, teens and single digits still in the wind chill. And we won't see above freezing temperatures until after lunchtime tomorrow. And still by 2 o'clock, it's going to feel like the 20s. So you can see we're settling in and we want you to settle in at home too. Hard freeze for pipe concerns both sides of the lake. Uh, that's for tonight and tomorrow morning, protecting people, pets, pipes and plants overnight. Here winter safety tips for you, reminding you about your pets, especially for those areas where you, we've seen the brine being laid down to try to uh, move ahead of this, the sleet that's been moving in. Check your pet's paws for signs of damage because a lot of the time that can uh, do harm to them and make sure your wa their water doesn't freeze and limit that outside walk time and that outdoor outside do your business time too. 30s today for temperatures only dropping from here. It's all about those travel hazards in the cold air, which I will see the rainfall and the sleet potential wrapping up by early afternoon. Then it's about the freeze and cold concerns tonight. 
Here's a look at, again, Mardi Gras climatology. We're looking tomorrow to be the coldest Mardi Gras on February 16th. Wednesday morning, we'll start off with more freezing conditions, so still some hazardous concerns there. By the afternoon, we're above freezing, but we have rain and storms through Thursday as well. And then we're back to dry conditions this weekend, highs in the 60s. That'll feel nice. Back to you.